I had a, the distinct pleasure of meeting Nelson Mandela on several occasions. And he had this unbelievable ability in a sea of people to zero in on you and make you feel special and talk to you. You know what he did? He used your name. He talked softly. He used eye contact. And he knew something about you before he even got there. He found a connective tissue. It was incredible. And to this day, I don't think I've ever met anyone quite like him. So being able to have the empathy for people, you know, and it's not about being assertive and aggressive, or it's not about being aggressive, maybe assertive. It's not about interrupting, right? It's about asking questions. When you ask questions, it's using a what or a how or a why to make the question open-ended, to allow people to talk. In communicating, when you communicate, it's about the tone of voice that you use. If someone in your meeting is talking really softly like this, you don't want to come in and talk like this, right? You want to match the tone. Meet people at their level, right? But at the same time, you want to be clear. You want to be firm. You want to deliver your message succinctly. You don't want to waffle. You know, leaders who zero in on their message points decisively, clearly, firmly will get much further than those who will go off on some tangent. Stories are great, right? We all love them. But to a point in a business setting. Silence, right? We're all smart people. Everyone has a point of view. If you talk too much, people don't have time to absorb what you're saying. They don't have time to absorb and think, come up with their own opinions. Don't be afraid to let silence be in a room. When you're talking on the cell phone or Skype, right, we all use electronic devices. You need to make sure that you're getting the attention of the person at the very start of your call. So let's say you're on a job interview, right? Or a, an information interview that's on the phone. Everyone multitasks, right? If you're on the phone, you're on your email, you're on your iPad, you're on you know, every device possible. So how can you get them to stop what they're doing and focus on you, right? Pleasantries, talk about the weather, talk about Malaysia 370, I mean, something, <laughs> right? Just get their attention. And then you need to frame up what you want to talk about. So I want to talk about points one, two, and three. And as you're talking, you know, construct the conversation in a way in which, um, you know, you're leaving space between topics so that you have that silence and you're allowing them to kind of input or interject as opposed to rushing on to the next topic. And don't do a phone call for more than 30 minutes. People don't pay attention for more than 30 minutes on the phone at a maximum. I coach people in person and on the phone. And those people on the phone, it's very rare to find someone who can actually really focus for more than 30 minutes. 